companies were dramatically understating the amount of debt or the riskiness of the debt that they had. That's why so many CEOs of Merrill Lynch, Bear Stearns, many other financial services organizations are losing their jobs because we go right to the top. The buck stops here. Well, I think it was important that you pointed out before that um, Washington Mutual still has to sort of um, guess what's going to happen over the next six months or the next year because the, this still hasn't, you know, all shaken out yet. Correct. Right? Correct. And being the biggest mortgage lender, if that's the, the main part of their business, what could be the long-term effect on this bank? Well, what they just did yesterday is they secured seven billion dollars of financing, and that financing, so you may say, what are they going to do with seven billion dollars? They're going to put that money on their balance sheets to soak up some of that bad debt. Now, what's their bad debt for real? And this is the this is the iceberg mentality of what's going on here. Is no one knows if you're seeing more above the surface or below the surface. So if there's another let's let's think positively, there's another seven billion dollars of bad debt remaining somewhere in the WAMU world, then they're even. Mm -hmm. If there's ten billion, we have problems. If there's five billion, then we're a little over liquid liquefied, which is not a bad thing, right?